Just across the river from Wells River, Vermont, is Woodsville, New Hampshire. It was once a bustling railroad town. Now, most of the trains are gone. But not the village barber, Paul Tatro. When I came to Woodsville, there were six barbers in Woodsville. Paul started cutting hair 62 years ago, straight out of barber school. He was just 18. I had wavy hair, but it waved goodbye. <laughs> his hair might have said goodbye, but not his loyal customers. Paul is like a conductor with a comb and scissors, performing in perfect sync. He, he's part of the community. I love a question to ask him when I get shears around his ears. <laughs> Dick McDonald's has been coming to Paul's barber shop the longest of anyone. Well, he's been cutting mine since the early 50s. Dick, a former dairy farmer, got his ears lowered a week ago. He came in to say hi and talk about politics. The New Hampshire <laughs> primary is on his mind. You've been getting a lot of junk mail lately, huh? Crazy. Crazy. Oh, well, got to keep the boiler on then. <laughs> the candidates for president have literally added fuel to the fire, keeping Dick warm but a little hot under the collar from the candidate's robocalls. He's been getting up to 30 a day. Some days you just want to sit with, with, at your desk beside the chimney and bang your head on it. <laughs> in the next room, Paul's a bit more tight-lipped. Do you talk politics when you're in here? Not too much. It usually gets me in trouble. Politics and religion. The days of the barbershop being a male clubhouse where guys hang out for hours is over. Most come in for a cut and leave. Yeah, straight away. <laughs> but this day's a busy one. He's the only barber left in town. Some come all the way from St. Johnsbury for Paul's service. Put a little miracle girl in my water here. <laughs> you must be tired. You've been standing uh, ever since I've been here. Yeah, my legs are bad. The 80-year-old is open every day but Sunday. Work is his oasis. His wife, Lorraine, died seven years ago. Life goes on. A haircut goes for 14 bucks, a far cry from the 75 cents he charged when he first opened. But Paul's quick to say an ice cream cone ain't a nickel anymore. It's time for a break. Put a sign on the door, lock it. Turn the pole off and tip. Paul will be back after lunch. He's not sure how long he'll continue. It depends on his health. One day at a time. A super senior with scissors. Perhaps a cut above the rest. Joe Carroll, Channel 3 News, Woodsville, New Hampshire.